How freaking fun. You know I'm a s for the orange. Let's just start. Como crunch frappuccino, please. I don't know how it happened. <sighs> Like it can't take that long. And it did. We really do need to figure out the coffee situation for the bus. It's gonna be crazy once we paint her. I'm looking at her in all of her glory right now. Good morning, hello, and welcome back to another Becky the Bus vlog. I'm looking at her in all of her glory right now. We weren't able to come last week because I had to work, so we haven't been here in a little bit of time. Last time that we were here, you guys saw we had to kind of tape up and cover some parts that we started to sand because our plan last time we were here was to sand off and get a lot of like the sticky stuff off that we were trying to take off, prime it. Some unexpected rain came through, so we were just trying to cover the bus as much as possible and as quickly as possible. So that way rain didn't get to it after we sanded it down because once water touches that metal, it will start to immediately rust. And that's kind of where we're at today. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so we really only have today to try to finish that job that we started sand out anything else that we need to and just get primer on all of the exposed parts and then we'll see what the weather ends up looking like tomorrow. Cohen already ripped off the like trash bag that we were using to cover it and we can tell that water still touched it because it was sprinkling like while we were trying to cover it up so we'll have to kind of go over it again sand it down a little bit more and hit all of these spots again. This is what the other side looked like so we tried to tape it up to hopefully keep water away from it. I think what we're gonna try to do is get this bus completely sanded down and primed today. But we're gonna have to move in like sections because I would hate for us to get in the same predicament as we were last time. We sand something down and then all of a sudden we can't finish it and it's raining or something. So I feel like we're gonna like, for example, do the back end, just that area and like sand it down and prime it and stuff like that. And then move to the next section, sand it down and prime it. But with that being said, then we also need to pick up stuff to like block off all the windows and everything because we don't wanna get anything on that. Newspaper, painter's tape. We need what is 120 grit? Yeah. Sandpaper. We need um that sealant, the flex seal stuff, clear, clear flex seal. We're gonna go to Lowe's and hopefully I can talk him into stopping to get coffee. We really do need to figure out the coffee situation for the bus. I know that we can essentially do whatever the hell we want. Right now we have an espresso, but I'm just thinking long term, like storage wise, but like feasibility and needing to restock supplies like Nespresso pods and milk to have lattes. I just don't know if we're gonna be able to keep that much stuff in the bus, like when we want coffee. So I don't know if we wanna switch to doing cold brew that we can like brew ourselves or we wanna do like pour overs or I don't really know, but that's a necessity for me, a non-negotiable, if you will, that we need to figure out. I kind of want to do the green just because it's pretty. Okay, get three of I'm those. Kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. Baby. You said this is for the windows. Yeah. So we probably just need one of those again, like the little, like for the gun? Yeah. Okay. We're taking a detour to the fridges. I kind of want to just see one in person because Cohen was thinking of something a little bigger. We were at first thinking like an actual like mini fridge style, but he's kind of thinking something bigger now. Like you're thinking this kind of size-ish. This isn't bad. But if we do this style, we don't have to have a freezer underneath the seat. Yeah. But we were thinking we do a lot of like frozen dinners for the dogs and like little things like that. So we want like large enough freezer section. And I feel like when we do grocery shopping, we're probably going to have some frozen stuff mm -hmm. like easy cookable things with this it wouldn't be like touching our ceilings so mm -hmm. we can still have cabinets or we can do like a different style cabinet or like a shelf thing up here we need to check this these dimensions and see how much space that takes up then if that's what you're trying to do because obviously we would lose counter space at this Let's... point obviously i know this is a dishwasher but we were thinking the like mini fridge would go under here and then have counter space so we have to kind of assess those differences and see if we're willing to sacrifice counter space for more fridge space more freezer space for the dogs and for us but i was thinking we would do something like that mini there's also like this in-betweener that i didn't know about i wish this was on the ground i want to like see it see it can you reach the freezer what do you think of that versus the other one yeah i think this is the box for it so it's definitely like tinier uh, come stand next to this like the other one at least came up to like you know your head so mm -hmm. this one 
is shorter. I'm getting this one on camera too because I'm I'm kind of feeling this little mini size. Not like the mini, this is like a medium size. I'm feeling this one. I want like the dimensions so we can measure it. I don't see them. Dimensions is 18.8 width. 46 in height and 19.4 depth. I'm just thinking like with this mini or size like it's also skinnier because even now we have obviously a large standard fridge in mm -hmm. our apartment and we don't use it. We don't really like well we use it of course. We just don't fill it already. We have more stuff in the pantry. Yeah, we have more like dry like goods. Food. So I feel like we could utilize more pantry space quote unquote and get the medium sized fridge. I don't know. Uh, can I get a grande como crunch frappuccino, please? Ice Venti caramel. ice caramel macchiato and two pumps of white mocha. White mocha. Uh, yeah, can I do a venti brown sugar shaken espresso? Uh, no cinnamon, two pumps of caramel, extra caramel drizzle. <laughs> <laughs> can I also put vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top of that? Anything else, Graham? Uh, no, I think that'd be all. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Have a great day. Yeah. Thank you. I didn't record this, but we also stopped on our way out at like the paint samples and just grabbed a bunch of them to see like the little ombre like look we want to do or something. I texted Alexis different samples and she was like, you know I'm a slut for the orange because she loves orange. <laughs> like that peachy one that we picked. I like that one too. We were both craving a frappuccino, but then we also wanted coffee. So we got a grande caramel crunch to share. It felt kind of good this morning and now it's hot again. But we're back from Lowe's and Cohen's already started like reset everything down but we got some painters tape a bunch of it because we're gonna have to tape off all the windows and lights and things that we don't want sprayed we got two things of flex seal paste and we went with this one specifically we've used flex seal a lot in the process so we like the brand but this one specifically says that it creates a watertight seal on windows and doors to prevent flood damage which is where it's gonna be is around the windows and stuff so we went with this we got two of them and then we got two different packages of 120 grit sandpaper for this guy right here and then we got some newspaper because this is cheaper than like the brown paper that you can get in rolls at shops and stuff because this was just a dollar each so five dollars I don't know how much we would need so I got like five of them and all we spent hundred and three dollars and thirty three cents on all of these prepping materials but we did buy some of it the last trip I just like to keep you all updated on the pricing side of things hey make sure you have all of your safety shit that you need especially when sanding you don't want to be breathing all that shit in the whole time let's just start Cohen's already taken the sander back over this spot again that we sanded last time. And right now we're kind of using the paper with our fingers to get into like the nooks and crannies that like the sander itself can't get into. But we're gonna start with this side of the bus. So he's already done like these panels and we're just gonna do this side first and kind of move through the sides. That way we don't sand something that we can't prime afterwards again. <laughs> What were you just reading? The newspaper. <laughs> They're playing bingo. <laughs> Why? I just can't get you. <laughs> I can't. What's wrong with you reading the newspaper? I can't. I'm bored. <laughs> So I just mixed, like they said, a three and one ratio of uh, oil base, like thinner. Let's see how it goes. I've never sprayed this before. I've never used this type of spray gun. I'm not really quite sure how it's going to go and how it's going to work. So I'm going to practice it on a piece that I'm, I know we're not going to keep and we're going to get rid of and put something else on it. So let's see how this thing actually fucking sprays.
this is what we're ending with for the night. Gosh. And before you ask why we didn't finish it, this door in this little section down here is getting taken out anyways because we're going to replace that. We weren't going to waste paint on it. And then the front door is also getting taken off, so we didn't want to have to paint that. And we did not sand down the nose of the bus, so we didn't touch the front. But, you know, if you just look at this tiny section right here, it's going to be crazy once we paint her. Already, just kind of seeing it a different color is insane because it's been yellow, of course. So, wow. How freaking fun. I will say we had hoped to kind of do this to the entire bus today, but it did take a while and we've read a whole bunch of stuff. We've been watching videos and everybody said that sometimes like painting your bus takes weeks, like months because of how like meticulous it is and how you have to like scrub everything down and tape everything off or whatever. And we're like, it literally can't take that long. Like look at it, you know, it's a short bus for us and midi. Like it can't take that long. And it did like this one side took all day. So <sighs> we get it now, but we did hope to have the whole thing done by now. So it's primed, not painted. So that is kind of disappointing, but also really exciting because we at least got the one side done. What do you think? Super cute. I mean, I obviously mean, the color's shit. I was but... gonna say the color's really ugly, but. <laughs> we pulled Becky into this back field at his parents' house just because obviously dealing with a spray gun, we didn't want it going onto any cars, any trailers, any buildings. So we just pulled her down. We weren't sure if she was gonna fit between here because she's normally parked right there. And that's where Cohen's gonna take her back to. Just a little loop-de-loop. crooked because you're sitting on something that's crooked but hello and happy Thursday I have my pajama shirt on and the shorts that I wore yesterday because I ruined them I'm actually very upset about it I really like these shorts and I got what is this primer all over them I don't know how it happened <sighs> these are now officially my priming shorts <laughs> it's been raining all day today so we have been waiting it is now like two ish hours of no rain and just sunshine we also have to watch the humidity levels because we can't spray the primer on if it's like over what 65 or 60 or something I forget what it was but we've been watching everything today because we want to continue priming the bus we just couldn't because it's been raining and now it's dry we got two hours under our belt of sunshine but it is a little bit later so we're gonna try to bust out as quickly as possible this side and the back side the front of the bus is just gonna take a lot more time so we're gonna do that next time we come for sure but we're gonna try to bust out both of these sides before we leave so that the whole bus other than the nose of it is primed and the roof how are we gonna do the roof She looks so weird with just the front being yellow and everything else is brown. <laughs> but she's coming along. Mm -hmm. 